Bullguard Antivirus Test. Test the antivirus called Bullguard. Test Bullgaurd. Can you test Bullguard Antivirus? Yes, today's video is going to be about Bullguard Antivirus and it's also going to be about Bitdefender Free. And you'll see why in a moment. So first, what's my opinion of Bullguard? Well, I think it's very good. It's a good antivirus. I really don't have any complaints about it. And I don't feel like I need to even test it at all because Bullguard Antivirus is based on the Bitdefender antivirus engine. And we all know the Bitdefender engine is very, very good. And really, there's nothing to say about it. It's a good, solid antivirus, but it doesn't make very much sense. Let me explain why. Because Bullguard, the, just the antivirus, that's all they asked me to review was the antivirus. It is not very feature rich. You're just getting the antivirus component and the email spam filter, and that's really it. And of course, this isn't a free antivirus. You're paying, well, let's see. You have to adjust the prices a little bit. We want to do one year, one computer, $29.95. Not astronomical, but you know, you're still paying money. When you could get the original version, which is, of course, Bitdefender antivirus that uses the Bitdefender engine for one PC, one year, $39.95, so 10 bucks more, but you get a lot more features with this, such as whatever this is, one-click security, um, some different profiles, startup optimizers, some kind of online payment thing. So you're getting more features and you're getting the same amount of, or the same quality of protection as you would with Bullguard. Now you would think, or at least the philosophy of Bullguard is that it is a light antivirus. Very light, low memory usage, great. That's fine. I can see why people would get Bullguard antivirus. You know, you don't really need all these backup and vulnerability and parental controls and all this garbage like that. You don't really need that in an antivirus. Most of the time, this one-size-fits-all kind of security software isn't all that great. You know, jack-of-all-trades, master of none. But if you want a light antivirus that's based on the Bitdefender engine, or a good antivirus engine, why not just get Bitdefender free? Yeah, this is probably one of the most underrated free antiviruses there is. And not a lot of people know about it, or at least as far as I can tell. This is the antithesis of the heavy, bulky, one-size-fits-all antivirus, such as Avast Free. This gives you just antivirus, and nothing more. Let me try to show you. And we, of course, are using Windows 10, trying to get uh, adjusted to its quirks. So, we're going to be doing a bit of a demonstration with Bitdefender Free, and then we're also going to... Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to demonstrate it and then see how it does against some online links, because I'm curious how it handles them. So, of course, this is completely free, and one thing I definitely like about Bitdefender Free is that it's not really an advertisement for the full version. I think of Avast and AVG as essentially shareware. They're constantly bugging you to buy the full version, and you know you're using a GIMP product, even though the protection is good. Thankfully, with Bitdefender Free, they don't really give you too many, or at least as far as I can tell, they don't give you any kind of alerts telling you to buy the full version. You're just getting a very light, stripped-down Bitdefender antivirus. And we're just going to go ahead and disable the initial startup scan. So now it is installed, loading user interface, it's doing an update on its own, and this is it. This is the whole antivirus. There is not much else here. And of course, this is they use sort of the same system as a, as a yeah, Avast. I don't know why I'm tripping on my words right now. So it uses the same system as Avast where you have to make an account, but thankfully you don't even have to verify your email. We can just make an account right now. Manji email rouge at gmail.com password damn it password uh, 
We could pick a better password than that. Oh, fuck. Can't type. So we should be able to just do that. Account already exists? What the hell? Make a new account. For this, submit. And then you're logged in. You don't have to verify the email or do anything. And it appears, unlike the free version of a vest, it doesn't expire in a year and you don't have to keep putting the, uh, or reactivating it all the time. And like I said, very light antivirus. This is the entire program. And of course, one of the big cons is that there's no settings at all, or very little settings. All right. Let's close out of Thunderbird, actually. Okay, now, this is it. You have scan options, it automatically updates, and that's really it. And I guess one of the nice things is that it will scan folders. So you can right click and do scan with Bitdefender and it'll start a scan. Now one of the big cons with this antivirus is that the scanner is very slow, at least in my experience. Let me go ahead and try to demonstrate. I'm going to go ahead and load some malware on here, and we will see how Bitdefender Free reacts to it. Okay, so we're back, and I loaded just over 100 samples into the virtual machine here. Virtual machine. And we'll go ahead and reopen Bitdefender and see what it will do. We'll turn on the virus scanner. Turn on auto scan, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and queue up a scan. Now this is 62 files, scan with Bitdefender. And this really is just a demonstration of how it reacts to finding malware. This isn't a test of how accurate it is or anything like that, but this should give us an idea of how it works. So I just scheduled a scan. It should be doing it right now, I think. Yeah, it's ongoing. And it's going to take a little while. The scanner in Bitdefender Free is extremely slow, but it is effective. And you'll see in a moment. As you can see, it's already quarantining files. Files in quarantine cannot be disinfected. That's fine. So, yeah, once again, very simple, but very effective antivirus. Let's take a look at the memory usage while it's scanning. Uh, oops, let's do that, I think. Okay, so we have a couple of processes here and not using very much memory. About 70 megabytes or something like that. Well, 80 megabytes. Again, not very much memory. And it appears to be fairly lightweight. No, no big hits on the CPU until it starts doing a scan like this. Go ahead and close that. See how the scanner's doing. So it's detected 15 files so far, and I'm going to just go ahead and pause the video and wait for it to finish its scan. Okay, so our scan is completed. It took us about 10 minutes, and we have 58 detected items. And the only items that it missed were these three VBS scripts, so no big deal there. And everything's automatic, automatically quarantines, and you can choose to remove by going to Logs, and then Threat Control, and then Delete Quarantine Items. And that'll clear everything out for you. And then you just have the scripts that are left over. So, again, very simple antivirus. This seems to make perfect sense for somebody who wants to set up a computer, for someone who isn't very tech-savvy and you want a good antivirus. Now, you know, Bitdefender, of course, well-known, great antivirus engine. You can look up on AV Comparatives or some site like that to see how good it is compared to the competition in terms of accuracy, but I know for a fact that it's going to be a lot more accurate than Security Essentials from Microsoft, and, you know, the updates are going to be more seamless or less seamed or something. Anyway, updates are a lot easier because they're automatic and there's no notifications and there's no settings to really mess with. You can turn it on and off, you turn this auto scan on and off, and that's about it. 
So before we end this video, I want to do a bit of a test of how it detects malware that we download from the internet. So we're going to be doing that now. I don't know the URLs by heart anymore. So to me, this antivirus makes a lot of sense because it's free, very lightweight, and you can compare it to something like Baidu where it's you know, constantly bugging you with advertisements for just other garbage. Well, not really advertisements, but, you know, it gives you all this extra bloatware, or well, optional bloatware that you can install. You know, that weird app store thing. This doesn't have any wallpaper changers or anything like that. This is just an antivirus with a very good engine. Bitdefender is definitely high tier, so lots of loading. We'll load up malcode. Yeah, we'll do VX ball. See if we can get some links. See how it detects the shit. SCR file, download it. Is Bitdefender gonna stop it? Oh, start screen, run it anyway. Oh yeah, link my account, whatever. Run it. Let's see what Bitdefender can do. Is it going to do anything? Okay. No, uh, I don't think it did anything. Let's try another file. Oops. 404. And I really have no idea how this is going to go. Save it. Run it. Failed. What happened? Ooh, quarantine to threat. Very nice. A cookie. Wow. Great threat. Clear list. Get out of my face. Let's try some of these on CleanMX. Try another one. There we go. Save that file. Failed again. I think it's detecting them. I wonder if... It's quarantined to threat. Very nice. I think we can do turn off web attacks and forgeries. Okay. Try that again. Save that file. It's going to take a while. Let's get another one. Let's get some risk wear, whatever that is. Oh god. Save that. That'll finish eventually. Let's get some kind of Trojan here. Just download from here as well. Again, this isn't a comprehensive test of the automatic detection stuff. This is just a demonstration of how it reacts when you download malware. So it seems to be doing a pretty decent job. It let that first one through, but I'm thinking that's more of an anomaly than a you know, consistent problem. Because it seems to be taking care of all these other things just fine. Quarantining some threats for us, very nice. We don't have to do anything, it just does it automatically. I definitely like that download one more before our video is over. Why not? Save it. That's gonna take a while. So it keeps finding threats, it keeps notifying us. I wish it would clear the threat log, but it doesn't want to do that. If I can just get it open. Not sure what I did. Oh, shit. Whoa, okay. So there's our six threats. We'll just go ahead and uh, threat control them, delete the quarantine. And that's pretty much it. I think Bitdefender is, Bitdefender Free is a great free antivirus. If you don't want any extra bloatware or anything, I think it's great for old people especially who, you know, don't really want to bother with all the security software garbage. They just want their computer to work and be clean and of course you want it to be clean so thank you all very much for watching and take care